Judging by my face and the fact that I sound like I've just been crying, I definitely did not expect this episode to be as sad as it was. But this is my reaction video to Doctor Who, The Girl Who Waited. I'm getting on a plane in just over 12 hours, so I don't really have time to film this and upload it, so I'm just using eyesight. Sorry about that. But yeah, I wanted to make my video before I left, and this episode was so good. I'm so happy to finally feel good about an episode of Doctor Who this half of the season. Because, I mean, I liked Night Terrors, but it wasn't quite... I didn't like it as much as I like this, I guess, is all there is to say. Arthur Darville and Karen Gillan did such a beautiful job. I can definitely understand not liking this episode if you're kind of getting tired, as a lot of people are, of the Rory-Amy relationship, but I don't think I'll ever be tired of it because I think it's really, really lovely and really wonderful and, um, yeah, I, I really liked this episode. It was funny that the doctor referenced Twitter when he talked about her phone, and I found out after the fact that he'd referenced Twitter before, but I didn't notice it as much as this time, and it was funny. Also, the fact that there were shooting needles, uh, that would have scared the crap out of me if um, I hadn't just, oh, about two years ago, gotten over my crippling fear of needles. So, really happy that, uh, that, that this came now. But yeah, that was really frightening, actually. Uh, the kindness were, the kindness was really creepy. I think that the correlation between this and the doctor's wife with the kind of temporal rooms and the doors and even though that was all in their minds, um, I think it was kind of similar and I think that it would have been better if this, these episodes had been more spaced out, maybe in a different season or something, but I, I think the whole story was really interesting and um, I would have liked more background information on who these people were, why this is happening kind of thing. Uh, when Rory was looking into the mirror and he said, are they happy? And the doctor said, oh, Rory, trust you to think of that. I think ugh, that Rory is such a fantastic companion. And, um, and he's so, he's such a good example of humanity. He's so different from any other companion Doctor Who has had. And I love that about him. I think the person he most relates to is Donna and the way Donna saw the world. But I think he has his own very individual, very unique, new, um, way of looking at the world and what the Doctor does, which I, I've always loved, especially in um, Vampires of Venice when he says that the Doctor makes people try and impress him. So yeah, it's just I, I just really like his outlook on everything. Robot Rory was adorable and sad and um, it's kind of, I, I kept kind of worrying that something was gonna happen with him, that he was gonna do something scary, but it didn't happen so that was fine. <laughs> the speech that the Amy gave to the other Amy, just uh, that whole yeah, just, oh gosh, I can't, I can't speak right now because I'm sad, but um, the speech, Karen Gillan's delivery on that speech about Rory and the band, and um, just older Rory, older uh, Amy's performance was incredible. Really haunting and really well done, I think. And I think the last line being, where is she, was really powerful as well. <sighs> so yes, as you guys could tell, I'm really happy with this episode, which is great. Um, sorry, I don't have time for too much more. I really, if my... My bag, or my computer is sitting on my a bag right now, and here's another bag. So I'm gonna get back to packing. But I will s hopefully I'll have a video up next weekend. It might be a couple few days late because I'll have just been moving into my new place. And yeah, maybe Roseanne and I will even get to watch Star Two together or something. Maybe, possibly, I have no idea. I hope at some point we'll be able to do a Tardistacular reaction video together. That'd be fun. I think that's all from me. I'm gonna head on out. I'm excited for this next week's episode because it looks really creepy. And uh, Alonzo, Alonzo.